Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. I have been doing a little bit of work while we've been offline. I've been uh, breeding my plants, getting them to um, multiply. So now I've got some more seeds I can collect. Uh, I think the sun's just going down. Going down, yes, it's going down. Um, so what you can't see is. Excuse me a minute. I have built out this way a bit. I think. Did I the last one show you me building some pa um, pads over here so I can move my solar panels? Because I want to move my solar panels off my roof into a big solar field, as it were. Other things I've been doing. Well, I have spent an I have spent a not inconsiderate amount of time sorting out my airlock. I said I wanted to get rid of that button nose here, and I think I've done it. So, let's make sure I've got my helmet on, and it's closed. It's closed, good. So now I can actually use the button. Press that, that closed, that comes on. Pressure goes down. And boom, outside door opens. I've now got it working off the pad on the door rather than the button. I can't get it to do it from the outside. I don't know why, but what I have done is... I've got like an emergency button on either side, so if I end up on the wrong side of the airlock, I can hit the emergency button and it will cycle the airlock for me. Like so. And then back again. Like so. Takes a bit longer this way because obviously there's more gas in there than there is when I'm coming out, uh, going in. So yeah, I've eventually got my airlock sorted. You don't know how happy that's made me. It has taken me hours of head scratching and looking at code to eventually get it to work. I will show you the code in a minute, but first I was going to go around here quickly and uh, just show you what I've been doing. So, yeah, I just like, kind of build a, a spar across here and it comes down and meets up with this. And um, I've installed another battery here, another station battery. And then I've got these pads here and I am going to get rid of these lumpy bits and move my solar panels from up there down to here. This station battery is tied into my uh, other solar panels and other station battery correctly, so it charges um, from that cable there. And then I put a heavy duty cable in this side going along to a transformer before it ties it back into my operation side of my network. So that's just protecting everything outside from the high voltage, from the, the high current from the battery. And if you haven't seen transform before, what you do is you set them up as an input and output, turn them on, and then you can dial up how much power you want to come through there. So I've set that currently to one kilowatt. So the maximum that will draw from that battery is currently one kilowatt. Um, yep, yeah, and that one is just protecting. So the input for this one is in this side, going out that way, and that's just protecting the data network from the, or isolating the data network from my solar panels from the rest of the station. Um, so yeah. It that spent quite a bit of time doing things offline. Uh, it took quite a while to print all those cables and things and other things I've been doing. Where are we? Where are we? Here we go. Um, I haven't done it yet, but what I've done is I've been mining. You don't want to watch me mining. And making alloys. So you can see now I've now got plenty of electrum, invar, solder, wasp alloy, stellite, and astro alloy. Um, this is allowed. This is so I can build the hard suit spacesuit so it's a spacesuit backpack oops spacesuit backpack helmet and jetpack and these again give me oh I'm just hitting buttons there sorry give me more space for things in my belt you know my, my tool belt and things so my backpack is bigger so this one's uh, 10 I think this one's 15 so I think the first thing we need to do is, is get them built and hope I've got enough of everything to do it I may have to put some of the alloys in there, or some more um, ingots, just to get it done, but let's kick that one off. Um, yeah, uh, what we've got in here, so that's still going up, just look at my jetpack. I think last time I had these lights tied in, we saw them tied into my weather station, so when a, a storm was approaching, approaching, these lights start flashing. Something else I quickly installed was more for convenience, is a sorter. So what you can do with the sorter, let me see, I've got 10 of those there. So let's just pick a number. You can set the number with this dial, 
got fifth, 10 of them, so say I want two stacks of five. I know these I can split, but ingots you can't. So two stacks of five. If I hold C and click on the oop, downside, I can step down through ones. If you don't hold C, it goes through tens. So that is there. We've got to set five. Turn that on. Stick that stack of ten, 10 in there. And it comes out as two stacks of five. Um, and obviously I can stack them together again and if you have it like so it's not an exact half so um, say 8 so that will be 8 and 2 so again it will kick out the 8 so you've got that and to get the 2 out if you notice this handle is now down just click on that and it ejects whatever's inside it so that's a 2 and you can do that with anything that stacks so you know even um, I've got any alloys here um, yeah, let's go for all this. So at the minute, you can't split these like you can um, or. So or if you have it in your hand, in your backpack, left click on it and you get the option to split it. Um, ingots, you don't. So the only way to split them is without putting them through a uh, something like this. So that's 55. Say I want a 30. Uh, oops, too high. And then. The 30 and a 25, stick that in, there's a 30, eject the rest, there's a 25. And if I put that to something like um, 10, no, oh, well, I'm drawing the game with it, stick it in there, it'll spit it out as lots of 10s. And if I want to recombine them, because again I can't stack these, the, the, the individual ingots, uh, what you can do is just don't go down go up so I've got that set to 91 it doesn't really matter it's just an arbitrary number above uh, more than what I've got of these items and next stick them in there hit the handle and they come back out as a 55 it will only let you stack up to the maximum of a natural stack of an object so I can't do for example 50 of those, 50 of those. I can't combine them. 50 is the maximum. You've got this set to, let's see, let's stick up to 100. Um, if I put these in, you see it just spits them back out as 50s. It won't let me make them any bigger than 50. Oh, there's our hard suit done. So that's the first one. Um, our helmet next. We've got enough for that, yeah. I'm just going to grab these and then we're going to do it indoors where we can take the suit off without any problems. So yeah, so that's what the stack is for. And what you actually normally do is you attach these to the printers. Certainly things like the uh, auto lathe where you're building maybe 20 or 30 um, steel sheets. Rather than spitting individual sheets out, you can stick this on the end with a shoot. Um, shoots from here, I believe. No, tectonic printer, pipe bender, there we go. See if I've got enough iron in here to show you this. In fact, I showed the shoots. These are the shoots here. Anyway, you so a 90 degree shoot. Stick it on the end. That feeds into this, and it just it, you can stack them straight as way as they come out the printer. It just makes things a little bit easier. Oh, that, that was quick. The helmet was quick. Yeah, that's the helmet done. Um, yeah, it's complaining that I'm dirty. So that's the uh, what groaning something's groaning oh the pipes over here they're groaning um okay why are you groaning why aren't you pushing more into there okay i'm uh, going to have to do something quickly will you push more into there Jetpack critical. no what's going on why won't you put more into there um, I've got to be careful, I may be getting blown up here. Step back just in case. Um, what am I after? You. No, that's okay. Atmosphere analyzer, I've got an atmosphere and no, I've got a configurator in here. Um, open that up. Atmosphere analyzer. What are you complaining about? There's only three megapascals. 
Oh, it's because it's got liquid in it. Right, okay, so um, what I need is a vent. Um, what's it called? A, a liquid drain, that's it. Iron and copper. What have we got in here? Iron and copper. I'm running around these bits of my backpack I was showing you, and I don't need them on me. So let me put that back. Uh, I don't need that one steel on me. Okay. Here's the iron. Here's the copper. Power low. Quickly print that. Okay. Yep, yeah, so I need to put this on here somewhere. And that will just get rid of any fluid that was building up in there. So now if I... You can see at the bottom we've got pollutants as a liquid, CO2 as a liquid. They will just now drain away. And if I turn that back on it should be fine. I've actually got the set now to 8... Um, 8 megapascals because I've got the high pressure tank in here which can take like 14 I think it is. But it was just that I needed to make sure we didn't get any fluid. Um, pick you up. You can go back in there. So what am I out of for my heart? Oh, steel. That's actually what I just put in here. There we go. We've got steel there. You can go in there. And it has a... Actually, do you want that? I don't... Yeah, that's a jetpack, isn't it? Jetpack, yeah. That's what I want. Let's close you. Turn you off. Continue off. Well, that's the last of my constant tan. Have I got any more over here? What's that? In canal. I may need some more constant tan for the hard suit. What do I need for that? Uh, no, it should be okay. Okay, then uh, that one. Hard suit backpack. Just let that finish, then we will go and get uh, go indoors and get ourselves sorted. We've got any coloured paints here. Um, there we go. Right. Don't waste the energy if we don't need to. How are you doing now? Are you going to stop complaining now? Yeah, the plute's draining away. Um, you saw me swap out the configurator here. What that's for is um, anything you put in the game, any item you put down. So for the printer, there's um, information about it. And what I was looking for is a reference ID, which is that one right at the bottom there. I needed it for these two switches. So this one. So you can see it's reference is 24459. And let me go inside. So I my airlock. I love this. <laughs> and um, this switch here, this is the other switch. So that one is 2447. 24447. Now if I get my laptop out, where have I put it? Switch to that, open it up. I think I've still got the script in here. So you can see define EMS1, EMS2, that's an emergency switch 1, emergency switch 2, and that's its ID there. It's just so the, the software knows what you're referencing, uh, which item to reference. And every single part of the game has its own unique number. Hydration critical. Bear with me a moment. Let me sort out my hydration. While I can, a quick slurp, have a quick bite to eat. Um, yeah, I've only got that one full thing left of food there, but we now have more food growing. Which reminds me, I want to... This one I'm here. Seed, seed, seed. I think a maximum stack of seeds is five. Oh no, seven there. Okay. 
and then harvest these. I just plant some more. There we go. How's everything else doing quickly while I'm here? Produce three soya bean, three soya bean. So let's So that's nine soya bean. You need the soya bean because you've got to use soya oil, which I'll show you how to make either this session or another session, to be able to make your soups. And then how are we doing with the rice? I'll leave off a little bit longer, see if it actually seeds. And then uh, corn, thriving, it's all thriving, it's all growing. Um, I do want to just quickly swap this out because I want to check. Sorry if I can get to it. Let's check how much water we've got. 23.8 litres, good. Um, and in there, 2.27. Yeah, it's a whole that works 23.8. Okay, so it's okay for the moment. Um, yeah, configure the tools, so let's put that back in there. You see, even um, I say everything's got a number, only things that have an electric connection. So obviously, they don't have a number because they're just pots effectively. Um, this does because it's got an electric connection, you can reference it. That one's 7552. The bottle filler does 11726. So, anyway, that's what the configurator card does. It allows you to see information about any electrical device um, and what it's doing. Um, so, there we go charge on there, maximum charge 288,000. bench that's got to you know everything anyway i think i've done that to death back to this back to yeah i'll do this and then i will get a wash <laughs> edit 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 yeah so i'm no programmer believe me it's just been a lot of headache to get this to work so all i'm doing there is defining those two emergency switches everything else is alias so alias door in door out vent in vent out gas sensor and led and that is literally door in, door out, gas uh, vent in, vent out, gas sensor, LED. Okay, that's what they are. And by reference them as an alias, I can put a D number after them, D0 through 5. And you've got a maximum of 6 of these, 0 through 5, that's the maximum you can have. And that relates to these 6 pins here. And if you put a screwdriver in my hand and a hover over one, see D0 it says uh, door in door out vent in vent out gas sense and I see how um, LED which relates to what's in that program and use a screwdriver to change them um, let me show you Ooh, it's buzzing well um, I'll just show you changing one say for so for this one LED if I click on it you can see I've changed it to vent in. If I press C, it will take it back. Or if I just cycle all the way through. LED, there we go. And when it doesn't match what's connected to here, you get the orange flash on there. So anyway, that, that's what those are. So that's just defining all the hardware connected to my little airlock network. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm setting two variables. I'm setting the variable R5 to 0. And the variable RA to 29. Now RA is the one that's used um, when you're jumping around your program. R5 is just a one of the random variables. I think there's 15 of them, one through 15. Next thing that happens is I set everything up. So door out open zero means that's closed. When it says open one, that's open. So outside door closed, inside door open. Mode 1 for both of them, that's so that can be controlled by logic. Um, door out, 
lock zero, Doen lock zero. I don't bother locking them. Um, people say you should, but I don't see no benefit. Door settings. So setting is an arbitrary number that can be altered for each device. I just set them to zero. Vent out mode one. So uh, you've got two modes on these vents. If you click there, set outward, set inward. Mode one set out. M mode zero is set in. So on, set out. So sucking gas and blowing it out, and not sucking gas in. Uh, vent in, vent out, uh, vent on, vent out, on zero, so I have to turn it off, and again just turn it both off. And then JAL activation, so JAL is jump, add line or something like that, I can't remember that's JAL, JAL, uh, jump execution, yeah, so basically what it's doing is it's a jump command, but what it does is remembers this next line number. So it says jump to activation, which is a subroutine right at the bottom here. Activation, and remember line after it, in this case, line 26. So it jumps down here, runs through this, and then jumps back to line 26. All this activation does is yield, which is pauses for one clock cycle, turns LED orange. Um, checks the status of both of the doors so when they're operating the idle status is zero and when they're stationary or not moving it's one um, it break when they're not equal so if either of them are moving they're not equal jump back to here and it just cycles until both doors are in a steady state and then it jumps back to oh, RA which is da, 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 in this case 26 again just a pause I don't know if I need that one or not um, Let's tie this up a little bit, make it easier to read. And then we're in the main program. So the main program is set the LED color green. So that just turns the LED in the airlock green. Um, load the variables R0 with the status of door 1. So with the open status of door 1. So we know door, sorry, door out. We know door out should be closed from when we just set it up. So that would be 0. R1 is the inner door, that would be 1 because it's open from the setup. Um, and then R5 is, I just need that number to be remembered. So I load R5 with the status of door 1 at the inner door as well. And that becomes apparent what down here why I need it. Um, R2 and R3, just look at the idle states of the door again. Are they moving? Um, that's all it's doing, it's loading idle status whether it's a 1 or a 0. R10 uh, is that arbitrary setting, so just take reading the setting from the door. Uh, R8 and R9 are reading the activate state of the switches, so that's these emergency switches if they've been pressed or not. Um, then there's a quick check, if R8 uh, is equal to 0, um, sorry, break if equal, so if R8 is equal to 1, jump to door switch which is down here if R9 is equal to 1 jump to door switch so that means the button's been activated so if I activate either of the buttons it will jump down to this door switch routine here uh, break when equals R10 or 11 so this is checking the settings of the door and what that's checking actually is this button when I say it's an arbitrary figure it actually activates the button when you're inside if I press that that setting will toggle um, but it'll reset straight away back to zero and the same with that one but it won't work from this one it's only the inside don't know why but it is oops oh come on laptop um, so if you but it's basically just setting is if either the inner door buttons are pressed so if r10 or r11 are pressed they will no longer be the same um so it will not. Be, so this is break if equal. So if they're the same, jump to main. If you activate one, of the buttons are no longer the same. It'll step down to door switch, uh, which is the next routine. Door switch. Set LED color to red. So this is the airlock cycle process starting. So I'm setting LED color to red inside the airlock. Um, check R5. This was where we loaded the R5 number for the first for the inner door here. Uh, where are we? L5. Do, do, do. Let me just find it. 
If R5 is 1, meaning the inner door is open, it means we're exiting the building, so jump to exit. If R5 is 0, it means the inner door is closed, we must be entering the building, so jump to enter. And if anything else, just jump back to main. I probably don't need that, but it's just in there as a caution. Just start this loop again. Um, so enter and exit are the same, they're just alternate between the two doors. So exit the building, so just pause, wait one clock cycle. Set inner door to open, so close the inner door. Click down to activation again, down here. Wait until the door's finished closing, that's all this is doing. Waiting till the door's finished moving, and then it'll return back to where it came from, or the line below it. So it'll come back to line 52. Turn the NF in vent on, so the vent pumping gas back into the building, turn that on. Load R15, which is a variable with the pressure inside the chamber. So that's taken from there. So the doors should, this is obviously a confined environment. It's just measuring the gas pressure in here. Um, obviously with the vent on, that's going to be sucking that gas out of there, so gas pressure is slowly going to be dropping. So branch not equal to zero. So what I'm saying is if R15 doesn't equal zero, which is no atmosphere, jump back to exit. So just jumping back to here, running down here, you know, is there any gas left in there? Yes, jump back up. Any gas left in there? Yes. Keeps doing this. Any gas left in there? No. It's now zero. So and then it turns the vent off and opens the outer door. Jumps back down to store activation again. Waits for the door to finish operating. Oops, come on, scroll back up. Um, sets the airlock LED color back to green and then just resets the settings on the two doors. This was a bit that was really confusing me for quite a while. I didn't realize that to reset this number. And the doors were just constantly cycling and I couldn't work out what was going on. And I think I also reused a, a variable or something like that, but I spent so much time trying to solve this. But this works now. An exit is the same. Sorry, entering is the same. It's just obviously, instead of the inner vent, it's the outer vent. Instead of the inner door, it's the outer door. But it works exactly the same way. And that's it. That's everything. So I've got 84 lines there, I'll probably just compress that and take a couple of bits out and make it a bit shorter, but you know what, it works. I'm going to, I'm not going to bother touching it. Um, make sure I've got the save to airlock 2. Override, so that's now my airlock 2. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's my airlock in a nutshell. I know it's a bit long-winded, sorry guys, but... I just wanted to run through that so people could follow it. I find one of the problems I have with this game is people sit there coding away. I've done it myself. And then you, you can't follow it. And then when they go back and make changes, you're like, what the hell is going on? Why are they doing that? So this is working code. I know what's going on. You can see every bit of it here. So, you know, I've gone through it in this video. If you want, you can copy it. I don't mind. I may even add a link to it somewhere. If you do, just please give, a, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you've done it. So anyway, that's our airlock going. Right, now, we are dirty, so I need to get all my kit off. So let's pull all this off. Um, and use our shower. Oh, oh, there we go, clean. How much dirty water have we got? A whole five litres, that's good. Right, now... Um, Let's just grab that, put that on, because I've got all my other bits in here, so I'm going to take them out. Uh, that, 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 and that. And then he can go away. Ooh, he's running over everything. In here somewhere. No, there's got to be an empty space in the old. No, what? Double under. There we go. So, put on my new helmet. Pick up my hard suit jetpack. Jetpack critical. Um, open that up. Get my tank. And just pick these bits up. These are just bits I threw on the floor. That. Um, oh, my clothing can go back on. I don't need to change that. My mining belt can go back on, and my lenses can go back on. 
Yeah, what else we got here? Hard suit backpack. Um, stick. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's because <laughs> I need my hard suit. This is my new hard suit. Yeah. So that's my hard suit. Where's my old one? So there's my old one. There's my new one. Just transfer everything over. And I do need to get a filter. So my old one here, no longer of any use. Get rid of that. My old helmet. And go in there. Um, jetpack that can take my. Um, well, that's my mining belt. Sort them over. So apologies. Mining belt. And my mining backpack. I think that's everything. Where's my helmet? Oh, to my hand. There we go. Except for my helmet. There we go. There we go. Turn my light off. Um, I think I showed you last time I put a light. Um, I put one of these lights. You can stick a battery in it. That battery's a bit low actually, so. Just swap it out. Um, you stick this portable light in your um, jumpsuit. And you have light all around you and don't need to burn your suit light all the time, which saves quite a bit of energy. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the, uh, let's close all these up before we got one at a time. The hard to jetpack has an extra line in it, an extra row of inventory slots. The um, hard suit has an extra filter slot and a program IC slot. Never really used it. I always wonder whether it would be worth putting a chip in there and programming it. So, if I go somewhere and the pressure is below 50 kilopascals, it automatically closes and locks my helmet. Don't know. Don't know if I can do that or not. Um, my helmet is no real difference. It's just a hard suit helmet. Um, okay. And then my tool belt. You've seen me using a tool belt before. Just stick that away. Okay, so that's our uh, suit upgraded. I don't think it's a view from outside. Uh, view from behind. No, third person view. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know how to do it. Um, how are we doing battery wise? That one's nearly fully charged. Uh, that one's not very charged. So, anyway, there are the things I wanted to show you. Um, obviously, now I want to ex move, start moving my solar panels down there. So, I'll just close some of these things up. And as you can see with this um, tool belt with extra lines, you get much more in there. Um, I don't need a configurator on me at the moment, so he can go in there. I do want the atmosphere or the tracker. That's good. You can go there. Um, close you. The tablet can go in here to analyse my plants. Let's check how they all are, actually. Um, good. That's all good. Light deficient. Uh, it's getting. It's not the brightest. Okay. Um, might just be a little bit out of range of that. That one's light deficient. That one's okay. Are we here? Okay. Yeah. Don't know why that one's light deficient. Is there a shadow across it or something? Yeah, it could be. But yeah, they're all doing okay now. Um, hopefully I'm not going to kill them anymore. Let's make sure I turn that off. I don't need that on me. So I'll put that away. I would like also to push my base out one that way. Um, just to give me a bit more room in here for growing things. But for now, let's go and swap this out. How much power are we getting off that? 38 watts. Okay, that's not too bad. Oxygen. 640. How much have got me? Yeah, I'll just swap my oxygen tank out. Oh, I know what I was going to do last time. I remembered. After I finished last time, I wanted some gold for something, and I couldn't remember what it was. I remember now. It was to put a pressure regulator in here, so I can fill this to um, like 8 or 9 megapascals. Um, just means the box and lasts a lot longer. So let's do that. Let's make sure my helmet's closed. locked. So 
well. Okay, so that is done in here. No, it's not. It is done in here. Pressure regulator. Oh, gold. I need gold. Where's my gold? Gold in there, but it's got lots in there. No gold in there. Oh, I'm quite surprised. Um, oh, I could just smelt some more gold. Turn that on. Yeah, let's just quick smelt some gold. There we go. Two that needs the gold, isn't it? Okay. So let's print that. Have we got some pipes? No. I think, okay. Um, Let's print some pipes quickly. I might have some inside the building, I don't know. I should do. That's pipes. Um, let's just create a drain, be on the safe side. Come on. That's a drain. Um, and then I need some cabling. Not quite sure how many of these are on these. I've got no out here, have I? No, not out here. Eight, nine, ten. You can go off. You can go off. You can go off, and you can go off. How are you doing? Eight, that's, uh, that's fully charged. Um, ah, right. Do I have everything I need to make a steel and silicon? Content to nothing. Damn, I'm going to have to eject it from here, I think. I've got a silicon here. I've got any steel in here. Steel, yeah, I'm going to have to check it. There's no storm coming, so we're okay at the moment. Steel. Let's close you up. You can see from here how much of a mess I've made the landscape. I've got something for that, I will show you that in a minute. <laughs> I've got something for everything. Um, canister, let me just make that. There we go, take him, swap him, swap him, bend that one, and then he can go in here along with the other one. I just wanted a high pressure tank, that was all. Um, yeah, right, back inside. Uh, take you off. Take you off. Cable in, am I? Don't mind, I can turn it that way. Oh no, it's the wrong way. It's pointing down, I want it pointing up. The cable coming forward, that'll have to do. It's not elegant, but it will do. Pliers. Um, I don't think I can attach this directly on top. Oh, maybe I can. Uh, 
No, it'll not let me touch it directly on top, so it's a thought. Did you you Where are you? Where are you when I'm looking for? There you are. go um, go there oh no 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 that's wrong Jesus <laughs> that's my um, jetpack you can go back in there for now actually I've got enough gas on me now I'm here to spend that So I can now set this to eight megapascals and then turn it on. And that will now start charging this to eight megapascals by pulling the gas from the network, which is basically why I've got this buffer tank here. Um, yeah, I'll just keep going. So that's that done. Some white paint anywhere. Have I got enough? Oh, look at that. Perfect. So that's that sorted. How are we doing? Three rice, one rice seed, three rice. I don't think I'm going to get any more than one rice seed. Um, how many have I got in total? Three. Okay. So, just harvest these. And put the rice in the fridge. You see, I've already got some in here. How many have we got there now? Nine. Okay. Um, Corn, throwing towards fruiting, that's okay, it's still growing. It's just a shame we haven't got any more pumpkin. Um, yeah, I want to move this shortly and get another bench in here. Then I can... I can move that. Uh, no, I'll move that. Then I can start trying to cook food. How are we doing? What are you up to? 752. Um, let's just have a curiosity can. Is there... Gas canter smart. Um, it doesn't tell you what the maximum pressure is. No. Just that holds 67 litres. How much does a normal gas canister hold? 64 litres, okay. Sleeping. Hmm. Just a canister. 64 litres, okay. So it doesn't look like it can hold any more, but it can hold a lot higher pressure. Okay, I thought it could actually hold more gas. That could be wrong. So I mean, really, we can... Um, is that 10? Are we doing... And now pressurise that to 10. Okay, swap it over. I know it's not really run out, but swap it over anyway. Okay, so I think I've done everything I want to do in here for now. Um, I will just grab some water. And some food. Yes, it is possible to lock your helmet helmet open, and I need some more filters. All right, that's talking about these filters here. Yeah. 
Oops, you. CO2 filters. It is possible, if you don't want to filter the oxide, to stick a nitrogen filter in here. Not a print anymore? No iron. Okay. Um, to stick a nitrogen filter in here, it will filter the nitrogen out you breathe, but it runs down very quickly. And when it does, you don't have a lot of time to sort yourself out before it starts uh, poisoning you, should we say. You want to charge, stick you in there. You can do with some more batteries. Steel, steel in you. Go. You can never have too many batteries. You don't need you on. Two batteries will do. Oh, we're making eight watts, seven watts, six watts, and we're pulling two point five kilowatts. <laughs> that's because that's going to jump even higher now because I'm charging two point five four. It's probably because I'm limiting down that side with a um, transformer. Right, okay. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you while I remember. Um, I built myself a terrain manipulator. You do that in the tool manufactory. There it is, terrain manipulator. It needs iron, gold and copper, but it also needs um, a dirt canister, which is made from iron. Um, I have a dirt canister. You put the dirt canister in your um, mining backpack as one of the ores. You see us 20 net the minute. Um, let's move out of the way. Then when you go mining, let's do find something over here to flatten out. Let's just say flatten this a bit. Um, it slowly fills the dirt canister. You can see there it's going up. Um, can hold a maximum of 64. You can then stick a dirt canister in your terrain manipulator, put your manipulator in your hand, right click and go around filling all the holes you made. Um, the reason this is important is you can get an Amy um, mining bot and if there's holes, it will fall into the holes and it will get stuck. And then you've got to go and try and find where it is and rescue it and hope there's no storm comes along because storm damages them. So yeah, just see, so you can just do this and fill in these holes. You only need to fill in the surface so that the robot doesn't actually fall down into the hole. Um, it's not like you're going to fill the whole hole from top to bottom. You could if you want, I suppose, but be an enormous waste of time. Um, you've just got to try and flatten out so that Amy won't get stuck. And things like this won't really affect it. Um, it might fall off there, but uh, ooh, that would affect it though. So let's just fill that in. Yeah. So I'm probably going to be doing this offline, going around just filling in some of these holes I've left dotted all over the landscape, just so when we set up Amy, um, it stands a chance of being able to be able to get around without even holes like that falling down. See just how easy quick that is. Oh, out of dirt. There we go. Stick it back in there. Um, I did the one, some of the ones around here, not very well, but just if you remember I had a big hole here 
for when my arc furnace was there I filled that in stopped me falling in that one there was a one round here which I kept falling in which I filled in so I can just run over it now I do need to fill that bit in um, then there was some more round here but I will in the daylight because it's easy to see in the daylight, daylight go around and fill some more of these holes in right so solar panels moving solar panels um, I'm going to need some heavy cabling I don't think I've got any on me or not a lot anyway uh, two yeah that's not going to cut it oh, I forgot to put that on my thing inside okay I keep it on me And this is just, sorry, the, something else while well, I remember. The hard backpack is just like the mining backpack. It's just another backpack. Gives you more slots for carrying things. Right. Sun coming up? Oh, sun's coming up. There we go. We want cables. Heavy cables. Set that print to view. Yeah, a bit like Swiss cheese around here. You can see all the holes I've dug. <laughs> and way over there, and way over there, and way over there, and over there, and yeah, it's going to take me a while to fill all those in. But like I said, it's something I'll do slow time um, off camera. You don't want to watch me running around filling in holes. Um, that should do for now. solar panels. Let's start moving our solar panels. Um, I think it's angle grinder. And then screw down a uh, drill. Oh, what I am going to have to do is take my... Oh, what could be charging? Do, do, do. Okay, let's just do put these three up for now. I need to take the data network over here as well. Cabling. Um, didn't think I would. So that's M2 in anyway, but I need to run the data network in. Oh, see? Oh, that's what I mean about these holes keep falling into the bloody things. <laughs> Although, no, I don't have any iron sheets on me. Um, how do I run this cable? I can bring it down. And along, and oh, I need to move that one up. I need to move that cable up one more so it's clear of the edge. And then I can run the data cable down and over it. It'll not be pretty, but it'll work. I can run that right way along the end, couldn't I? And down. 
Okay, um, let me do it with something else. Let me now and go and print a load of cables. I should be back shortly once I've printed some cables. Uh, this is what I meant about the chute. You can use the chute. Let's do it pointing towards me. That's it. Now pick this up. I think a space there. I might have to move the cable. Oh, I am going to have to move that cable, I think. Um, oh no, leave that one in. These cables back in. And then now I should be able to fit you in. Yeah, and run a cable into you. And set you to. Turn you on and set you going. Now, with all the cables flying everywhere, this is all going to build up in there now. Just so we have to chase them all over the place. Um, I put you back in the wrong place, and I you want to go in there. If you want to see how many are in here, you hover over the handle. You can see I've got 12 in there, 13. I just sent that print a few. Keep an eye on the. Um, no, oh, no, we're out of copper, so that's as many as I'm going to get. So that's 21. Which isn't going to be enough. I know we can recover some from here by doing this. You know what, it might just be easier to move this whole no up. Yeah, it's probably just going to be easier to move this whole thing. So I'm just going to move everything over there, including the controller. So let's take you. Take you. Quick out and get this done in the night before the sun comes up. Battery's just run out. And let's take it from your fun out. Steel sheets as well. Which I know I've got over here somewhere. There we go. And you can go backpack and take. Take all this out. I do need you though. Let's 
Seems like a lot of cabling, but it doesn't go very far. Let's take all this. Right. Right, you can go down here. Like so. You can go there. You can go there. Oh, I've got any high power cable on me, have I? Um, oh, I can roll one from up here. Whoa, way too high. I forgot the jetpack's a bit more powerful as well. You can move quicker with this jetpack. Um, Still connected through down there into that battery, yeah. It's all good. You can go there, so that's power in. Isolating that, turn you on. Go about one kilowatt, no near one kilowatt needed, but I'll set to one kilowatt. Uh, you come down. Go that way. Run this cable in quickly. Sun angle sensor. Go away. You can go in there. Sun angle sensor, turn you on, and boom, they should all work. Because that chip's already programmed, I don't need to do anything with it, it should just track the sun automatically. Right, that means I've got to get... Right, that one's not welded, I don't believe, so... Let's quickly weld him up. See how much quicker you go with this jetpack. <laughs> it gets a bit of a crazy ride sometimes. I don't think I've any steel in here, have I? No, I nicked it all. Uh, no. Yes, but you've got lots in you. Um, steel in there. Uh, 
and this will just spit everything out uh, in 50s because I've got it set to 50 but the steel I want to go into you everything else can go back in here these quickly two three turn you off they're trying to fall down hole Is my welder gonna hold out? Am I gonna have to run out of battery? No, no, there we go. Right there. Swap you out, put you back. Network this side. And then network cables connection. waiting for the sun to come up except they haven't got the high power connection on this side oh, not good enough cabling either okay how many can I do oh seriously low I definitely need to go and get some more gold and copper right so I need 4 8 12 but 15 That's before we even start moving, doing anything around this side yet. Oop, don't fall down the hole. So you've got what left? No copper, but you do have gold. Any copper in you? Yet. Copper in there. There it is. Cable, heavy cable, let's see it going. And there's a storm coming. My little storm indicator is working. How about inside? Yeah, you can see it flicking away inside. Whoa, you can go back in there and see, will you? So, how many in here? Four. Can I get these before the storm arrives? I'm going to move all the wind turbines up the top, that's why I'm leaving the high power cable up there. That's eight. You can go off. You're at 8k, you can go off. I said about 15, didn't I? Here comes the sun. That'll do. Let's take that. Hopefully we'll not be too short. Oh, I'm not going to have enough, am I? <laughs> I might have been a bit pre preemptive stopping there. Oh, when we one short. Yep, damn, I knew it. Come on, yeah, and give me that, thank you. Yep, 
Yeah, as you can see, as the sun comes up that side of that hill, I'm getting a bit of shadow on here, but not a lot. Right, so we're getting 400, 400, and nearly 500, 500, 500, 500, 500. Good, good, good. It's all good stuff. Um. Oh, damn, over the top, overshot. No, I need some more cabling for that anyway. Um. Right. You're probably knackered, are you? Seventy two percent that's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was gonna be destroyed by now. Um you Cabling in, so I want to probably that ripped all this out of here not a minute ago. Um, never mind. Oh, wrong place. Yeah. Right. Batteries. Oh, got lots of fresh batteries. So, see, I only got down 12% because I'm not using a light. That would have been way down by now. Um, what was I doing? That one. That one. And that one. Throw you in there. That one. Oh, it's okay. So 96. It's okay. It's not bad. And let's just replace mine. Um, yeah, that will do. I'm not going to do any more outside at the moment because I'm just going to get blown away. Empty can, we need you. That's another empty can somewhere. Where was it? That's two empty cans we got. Let's keep them together. Alright guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for today, uh, for this session. Um, I've done a bit more, like I say, you know, we've, we've now got our solar arrays over there. I am going to be adding to that. Um, and I've now got space underneath here to add a load of batteries and things if I want. Plus to expand my base out a bit. Um, and I want to go sideways. I keep saying I want to go sideways. I do want to go sideways. Um, I can't really go sideways this way because I've got a bit sticking out. Um, that doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me. I would like to get a roller door to go on there, so you're not looking at my circuit board all the time. Uh, what we're doing, 1.36 kilowatts consumed. Um, have I got a display in here? Do I have a display console? Oh no, here's a storm. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, so here's the storm coming in. So on that note, guys, uh, Struggle Five Gamer, wishing you a good night. <laughs>